The San Francisco 49ers may have gotten a big time steal after they traded up into the third round to select Dominic Pooney, offensive lineman out of Kansas. Now, a lot of questions that I've already heard is why can't he play left tackle as the San Francisco 49ers have already indicated that he will play on the interior of the offensive line, likely center or guard. So I will answer that question of why I do believe that he is slated to be an interior guy, but you will be able to see on tape. He's pretty good at tackle as well. And we are going to identify and highlight a lot of the things that he does really well that will translate to the next level. So let's hop into the tape and get going because I had a lot of fun breaking down his tape. We did Texas and Illinois, and uh, you're going to see he, he does some good things on tape like this down block. So as you can see, he is on our right side of the screen. You have the defensive lineman on an inside shade. And with that defensive lineman is going to jet to the outside. He's smart enough to understand that he's got a puller who's going to take that guy. So he leaves him. And then six is also going to the outside and he just crashes him down. This is a phenomenal block. You don't want to get penetration right here on the front side of the run or else it will absolutely destroy uh, all the pullers behind you. But as you can see, he does a phenomenal job of understanding his role and responsibility within this play, doesn't get baited, and is able to get a phenomenal down block. And you see he's pretty hyped about it. This one, we're going to see what he does as a puller. And uh, he does a phenomenal job at pulling, as you can see him come down the line of scrimmage and kick out number 28. Boom. And the running back goes right off his hip. One of the things that stands out with Pooney is his short shuttle time. He is in the 90th percentile. In regards to short shuttle, which is a great indication of lateral movement, such as pulling. And you see you get a great kick out block right there. 28 definitely did it enjoy going up against Punai in this game. And you're going to get another example of Puni pulling and smacking 28 to the ground right there as they bust out a big time run. Now, he has this tendency to do this like skip step where you can see he's kind of it's a little hop step. I think that's something that, you know, might be corrected at the next level, but it still gets him on his track and he creates contact and knocks 28 straight to the turf. Uh, so he is a good player when it comes to moving in space. You can see you get another kick out block. He was a little high this time. You can see. Uh, the defender gets a little bit underneath his pad, so he can get a little bit lower, but he was still able to execute the block and create a nice running lane for his running back. On this one, you get a nice little kick out block. You see him show off some of the power to be able to move the guy out of the way, and they run right underneath him. So one of the things that he excels at is as a run blocker. As you can see right here, the power of being able to move number 48, get the down block, and they run right off his hip. They have a lot of success running to his side uh, because he's a quality blocker at the point of attack. But also not, not just being a quality blocker at the point of attack, he also is a guy who gets to the second level really well. But this is an example of looking for work. His guy drops out. So he's like, all right, find some work. Boom. Uh, there's multiple examples on film of him looking for work and getting guys onto the ground. And again, you can see they have a lot of confidence running to his side with his ability to move guys with just one big push and then get skinny so that your running back can run right off your hip. Uh, a great example of what he can do as he transitions to the interior. This is uh, a showcase of his ability in pass protection. 
One of the reasons why I do believe he will move inside to guard has to do with this foot right here. He doesn't have a natural pass set. Uh, you can see it's just these little short steps. Typically, you want to see a big vertical set. He really doesn't do that all that often. He tends to fan out towards the defensive ends to close the gap, which isn't a bad thing. But I do think it's one of the reasons why he will be playing guard at the next level. It just comes down to his base and um, just not having a strong uh, kick step when it comes to his pass set. Uh, this was a nice rep against Jerry Newton. Uh, some believe to be a first round draft pick. He ended up going in the second round to the commanders. Uh, but this guy really does show his ability to move. Look at the hips. As you can see, you see the feet kind of cross over there. Though That's not exactly what you want to see from a tackle. But you can see his ability to recover. So the defensive end sets up an outside move, counters inside. He's able to open up the hips to cut off the inside move, but it puts him in position to then one cut off the inside move and then stonewall him as the guy tries to go back outside. So again, this is a great example of his hip flexibility and his ability to move and dance with some of these pass rushers. And he does it uh, a bunch of times. He, he really does move well. And again, you can see how he's mirroring the guy again tries to go for a chop. He tries to go inside and Pooney is right there to make sure that he isn't going anywhere. So he's, he's pretty, he's really good in pass protection. He holds up really well. As you can see another pass blocking rep where he does a good job. And again, you can see the, the footwork, Definitely reminiscent of a guard. That's some guard footwork right there. But uh, he makes it work as a tackle. He really does. You're going to see him shoot downhill and get to second level. Again, one of my favorite things is his ability to get to second level in a hurry. And he does a really good job once he gets to second level and getting these linebackers out his way. I thought this was a good rep of trying to get on the inside of an inside shaded defensive lineman. You can see he does the little crossover footwork, which again is interesting um, in regards to how it's taught, but he makes it work. He makes it work for him and he's able to cut off the inside. That's a, uh, Trayvon Sweat, I believe. He is also a, a second-round defensive tackle, considered to be a first by some. You see him just wash him out, and the running back run right off his hip. So these are all the things that I would say were, will translate really well to guard or center. So you're kind of seeing all the abilities that he has, the ability to move, the ability to mirror, the ability to pull. He's uh, good at down blocking. You see right here, he, he doesn't allow any pressure with the guy trying to crash inside. So all of these things are going to translate really, really well to the inside. And again, the, his ability to move. Kind of a bit of an overset right here. But the guy tries to go inside. He's right there. You see how quickly he makes that adjustment, and then he's back to the outside. So in this instance, you'd want to see a more of a vertical set, but you get a false step. See how he's not gaining ground? This, to me, is the main reason why he will play guard in the NFL is just because if you're going up against a Brian Burns, you need to be able to shoot back out of your stance or else you're going to get beat around the corner. So that's why I do believe he is slated to be an interior offensive lineman. Um, I think it's a bit of a Colton McKivitt situation where he could, he will be slated to be interior, but I think he could also play tackle in a pinch. I don't think it's that he can't do it. 
I think his technique would just indicate he's better suited on the interior. And this is a great rep of him getting a linebacker, uh, just a solid job in space, taking the correct angle, walling that guy off. He actually takes out three because 33 hits that other defender, and that other defender takes out the other guy. So that's just a good block right there by Dominic Pooney. Uh, this guy's pretty dang solid, man. He He's, he's shown everything uh, at a pretty high level in regards to what I think uh, is needed to be successful at the NFL level from an offensive line standpoint. So as you can see, multiple different areas where you can see he excels, I would say. He excels as a puller. He excels in pass protection. He excels in mirroring defenders. He can uh, definitely down block, and he can dig guys out. Uh, and uh, I think he's going to be a pretty quality player for the San Francisco 49ers. I think they got, uh, considering where they drafted him, I think they got a, a solid player who could definitely be a starter uh, sooner rather than later. So we'll see uh, how he integrates into the offense. But overall, I think it's a phenomenal pick, and I think the tape really shows the 49ers got a good player. You guys let me know what you think about him in the comments below. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe for more updates.